So hey guys, it's Hazel Day. And I'm back in a better light than ever before. And I'm just going to show you guys how to go from this eyebrow to this eyebrow. And yeah, um, this is going to be a short and easy tutorial. Keep it short and sweet. And yeah, give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. And comment if y'all like me and short hair. Because I'm big me. But that is it. That is all. Subscribe. Turn on your notification bell. And let's just get into these brows. Okay, starting off, I start with my Anastasia's Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. And I dip my brush. I always start with in the middle of my brow, never in the beginning, because it, it would be way too harsh. Once most of the product is off of my brush, that's when I go in in the beginning of the brow. I just brush any type of way, just so it can get that messy little hair look. And then I brush it out so it creates that fade. So just going back and forth, drawing it on hair like strokes and then brushing through with my spoolie. And then I'm going to create that sharp tail. Again, I always want the darkest part of my brow to be the tail. I always keep some type of scrap plastic or paper and I, for my concealer and I use NC45 and NW50 concealer. I never go right up under the brow because the product normally shifts forward or sh goes upward, you know, like goes into the brow and it gets pretty messy. So I always be down some and then go up and edit it, you know, so that it does not give me that too messy brow. You know, we like those sharp lines. On top of my brow, I go in with NW50. Because that's the one that's closest to my skin color. I don't mix it because I don't want it to give that halo brow effect. And just like with the brow product with the concealer, I never go in the very beginning. I always start back some and blend it forward versus starting to forward and giving that block look and as you can see if you saw the concealer on my brow it created like a chunky line that's why I normally never go too close to the brow with the first stroke of concealer and then I take my face powder and go across my crease and only for the sake of this video I went above my brow because I normally do my eyebrows first so that normally would be blended out better but this is the final look they're simple and thank you guys for watching